delicious. Hello. Oh, look. Oh. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> oh. What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, it talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> Wait, you're going to sing? Oh boy. <laughs> so no time. Wow. Fisha jumped in and the cunning. I'm guessing is exactly like you very charming and adorable you made my heart melt you were brilliant I'm trying to describe how amazing it was you know what and if you have Went crazy for her after her first audition, and Mel B used her golden buzzer. Here is Darcy Lynn. Well, I would like to introduce you to my new friend, Oscar. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, D -D Darcy, I got a problem. A problem? Yeah. Ever since you got the golden buzzer, I I fell in love with. Mel B, shh! That is a slight problem. I know. I, I think she's afraid of mice. <laughs> well, Oscar, I think your bigger problem is she's a human and you're a mouse. 
Well, I didn't think that would be an issue. I mean, Heidi was married to a seal. <laughs> so, I decided to sing her a song and tell her how I feel. Hit it. Mel B, this is for you, baby. can't do anything with his mouth shut. No, I think you were fantastic. I love you. You were fantastic. So, Amel, this was all for you, baby. It was all for you. Well, Darcy, you are just, I mean, you're just out of this world. You're my golden buzzer, and Oscar, I will date you. Whoa. <laughs> wow, no in the stairwell, guys. No Air Force. It's all about Oscar. It's all about Oscar, but no, Darcy, Oscar, you Oscar, get just... a prenup. <laughs> Excuse me, yes, yes? Melby, you just look fantastic tonight. He said that you look fantastic tonight, Melby. Yeah. Thank you, so do you, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, get a room. One smaller than this one. Simon! What can I say, Darcy? You, young lady, and Oscar, get ready for the big time because it's coming your way. <laughs> one million dollars but who's gonna win we'll get that news tomorrow in the season finale the show is going to be beyond epic we've got the results and we've got your favorite superstars we got kelly clarkson we got shania twain jeff dunham terry fader and lots more the time eight seven central the place right in front of your TV. It's gonna be hands down the biggest AGT show ever. All right, back at these auditions, we saw our auditions, we saw a young ventriloquist and she was so good. Mel B pounced on that golden buzzer. Fast forward to tonight and she's about to perform for $1 million. Here's Darcy Lynn. Throughout my journey on America's Got Talent, some people have been sending me videos of them trying ventriloquism. Say hi to Darcy Lynn, Cindy. Hi, Darcy Lynn. Oh. From adults to teens to kids. <laughs> it just means so much to me. Hey, Darcy, I wish you good luck from Spain. Love you. 
This is impossible. Two years ago, I started ventriloquism. No, I don't. And I would just practice the ABCs. A, C, T, go on to the R, C. And now I'm in the finals of America's Got Talent. If you would have told me that when I was first teaching myself, I would have been like, you're crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> Hi, Darcy. You inspired me to learn ventriloquism. Good luck. To know that people have been trying it and are interested in doing it because of me, it's just unbelievable. We wish you luck in the finals. Yeah, we know you're gonna do great. I am one performance away from maybe winning America's Got Talent. I'm just hoping for it. Good luck, Darcy. Good Darcy! <laughs> well, guys, here we are in the finals of America's Got Talent. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm nervous. I, I hate dress rehearsal. Um, um, Oscar? Yeah, this is live. <laughs> uh, what? <sighs> Oscar, uh, Oscar, Darcy, don't worry about him. But more importantly, um, do you think the camera's getting my good side? What? <laughs> uh, Oscar, Oscar, y yeah, guys, get it together. We're about to perform in front of 16 million people. <sighs> Terrific, and I have a faded mouse and a bunny who thinks she's a diva. Say what? Yeah. All right, Osc Oscar. Oh, guys, we need to figure out who's going to sing tonight. Um, obviously it should be me. I'm the reason we're all here. Excuse me? I I I'm the reason we're here. I got us to the semifinals. I'm the better singer. No, I'm the better guys. Okay, Oscar, exactly which one of us got the golden buzzer? Hmm? Hmm? Petunia! Guys, you shouldn't fight. You need to work together, like some of the famous duos like Laure Laurel and Hardy, Hall and Oates, Simon and LB. <laughs> uh, well, at least two out of those three are good examples. Sorry. You know what? Guys, I think everyone here is wanting us all to sing. So I was thinking that we could sing a song. It's by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. It's called, a little, with a little help from my friends. Whoa. That's funny. A mouse and a bunny singing a song written by two Beatles? <laughs> well, great. So guys, what part am I singing? Um, uh, uh, Darcy, uh, you just stand there with your mouth closed like you always do. <laughs> yeah, hit it. What would you do if I sang at a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? No! Lend me your ear and I'll sing you a song I will try not to sing out of key Oh, I can
We've got a duet up in here. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. Okay, Mel B. Oh, this is your my girl. Gosh. I know. You are just hands down incredible, incredible, incredible. I mean, you're 12, uh, you're 12 years old, right? You're self-taught. You, you, were, you were so shy, and look at you now. And I've, I've said this from the very beginning, hence you're my golden buzzer. You could win this, but everyone has to vote for her. They all have to vote for her right now. You are just, you're so poised. And I still don't know how you do it, because I try and watch for your mouth moving, and you are that professional. You're amazing. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath. You're amazing. <laughs> Hi. Absolutely amazing. You are amazing, and it has been amazing watching you all season, and you just, you just have that special something that not everyone has, and you might have just won yourself a million dollar right yeah! there. Woo! Woo! Simon, these ladies are trying to make some kind of predictions. Well, look, we are being very complimentary tonight, but for all the right reasons, because America has got it right. We've got the right 10 people here. Everyone has raised their game. This is what I think about you, Darcy, when you can appeal to all ages with what you've done. But the, this is what I believe. The best part of doing this job is when you are there and you can say, I was there at the beginning of someone's career and I witnessed a star. Tonight, again, I've just witnessed a star emerge because that's what you are. You are special, incredible, funny, talented. I think you're going to win. Very yeah. pensive face you have right now. I'm Pardon looking. me? Very pensive. Because I think that everybody's right. I think, and, and if you look previously coming into this, you're the most popular person in, on this show on the internet. So people got to vote. And you remind me of every reason why I got into this business. I used to watch the Ed Sullivan Show. That's where I first found the Beatles. I used to see Topo Gigio, puppets, kids, and everything. And all that is in one act, and it's Darcy Lynn. So you delivered. So. <laughs> I just have to ask these two puppets, how do you feel inspiring all these kids all over the world and country? They're trying to be like y'all. Um, I, I feel great. I, I love you, Mel B. Oh. And what about you, Petunia? How do you feel about those kids well, trying to be like we, you? Well, we all know I'm the star. <laughs> all right, well, good luck to you tonight, Darcy. Edna Doorknocker, what are you doing? Get me out of here. I have not been this uncomfortable since I was stuck in the elevator with the singing trump. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, where is that Simon Filler? Oh, and he's right there. Oh, my, 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 my. He's a hit with the ladies in their 80s back at the home, you know. But Edna, what about the age difference? You're so old, he could give you a heart attack. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Darcy. Simon knows mouth to mouth. <laughs> Ew, TMI. All I wanted to do was tell him how he makes me feel. Well, why don't you sing him a song? <gasps> what a great idea. Simon, my hunk of hunk of Englishman. This one's for you. Looking out on the morning rain, oh, I used to feel so inspired. Oh, and when I knew I had to face another day.
you're nervous. Yeah, a little. You know, I, I feel better if we were singing with Sana who's been in the finale before. Well, you know, I figured, so I invited my idol. Winston, the impersonating turtle! Uh, okay, Well, Winston. Uh, you know, Winston brought Terry Fader, too. Thank you. It's so good to see you, Winston. Oh, hey, hey, Petunia, I, I saw that Darcy's 80-year-old friend, Edna, is in love with Silent Cow. Yeah, she is. But, you know, I'm not so sure about it. You know, think about it. Age, thoughts, wrinkles... Broken hips. I think you just described Silent's wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> now, B, that was for you. <laughs> you know, I'm really curious. Are you two competitive with each other? Yeah, in sports. You know, in school, we were on track together and he always wins. Yeah, that's because you always stop halfway to take a nap. Get it? Tortoise in the hair, get it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Winston, we get it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the best at telling jokes, by the way, Petunia. Not as good as me. What makes you say that? Anything I can do, you... No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Wow, Winston, you sound like the original. Hello, impersonating turtle. Any note you can reach, I can reach higher. I can sing any note higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. 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 No, you can't. You can hold, I can hold longer. I can hold any no longer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I No, you can't. Today, Darcy. I am so good, but really nervous. <laughs> oh, that's fine to be nervous. Well, welcome to Champions. You are a champion. Ah! Yes, you are. <laughs> now, why did you want to come back and do Champions? Well, I always love a good competition, but I missed being on AGT, and maybe having a chance to have the world champion title just seems awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, no pressure, but you're the first up, so let's set the standard. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, are you, a, are you a little nervous to be back on AGT? Um, yeah, a little. Also, right, it's going to be so much fun. I mean, the crowd is here, the judges are here. It's, it's like we never left. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Simon's even wearing the same clothes. <laughs> so, Oscar, how has your love life been since last year? Um, well, not very good. All right, well, how about you wow all the ladies tonight with a killer song? All right, let's do it. Hit the music. <laughs>
Champions was crazy. All of the butterflies from the very first audition just came back like 10 times worse. The reaction from the crowd was out of this world. I think you deserve to be the world champion. Definitely wanted to feel that feeling forever. Leaving the competition is Darcy Lynn. The chance of winning that title was gone. Then I got the call to be a wild card. I am grateful to have another chance to win this competition, but it's also like terrifying. How am I gonna come back and blow the roof off the place? I would definitely consider Petunia my lucky charm. She helped me get the golden buzzer. She helped me win season 12. And she is a diva and she likes to win. But there's only one winner. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna let it go. What are you going to sing today? Well, I want to sing Italian opera. for so many reasons, is your best ever performance you've ever given. I mean, it's, it's hard enough at your age to sing opera, but you're doing it through a rabbit. I think you may win tonight. <laughs> Mel B, do you agree? Oh my gosh, of course I agree. I mean, just your delivery and your confidence because you are self-taught and you've worked so hard to get this far. You deserve everything and much, much more. Howie, what do you think about this performance? It was truly amazing because we didn't know you sing opera. You've gone through a whole season of AGT and you still surprise. I think he's right. I think you got a shot at this tonight. Best of Thank luck, you. young lady. 